It's team of the season time. We are joined by Super Will Brazier, Super Mark Goldbridge. Now, lads, before we get into it this season, yeah, it's end of season. We did a mid-season team. It was an absolute shambles. I don't know why, for some reason, Mark, you wanted to do 4-3-3. Yeah, it's a disgrace, absolute disgrace. This was our halfway team of the season, right? I still agree with most of it. Do you really? Yeah. How, I don't know how you can have Kane, Haaland and Rashford uh, as a front three. It's an absolute disgrace. Anyway... you wanted to put Harry Kane on the right wing. Settle down. <laughs> This is what we're going to do this time. We are going to decide amongst us, right, what the formation is going to be. We're going to decide what the formation is going to be, and then we are all going to come together and we're going to pick a cumulative team, all right? So we're not going to pick three separate teams. It's all going to be all on the same page, and there's probably going to be some disagreements, and it's going to be spicy. It doesn't matter, though, yeah? We have to build our team of the season. Deal? Yeah. Cool? Formation time, lads. Yeah, easy. 442. Oh, I agree. Yeah. What do you think? Fucking 442. What is it? 1996. Yes, it is. It's exactly I, what it is. Just tell me a team in the Premier League that plays a 442. Um, Everton. Everton. Yeah, look at what happened to them. Aston Villa. Oh, oh they don't need no, to bring don't. that up. They don't. They, they don't. They don't. They don't. They don't. They don't. So we're going to invent. It's all right. We're going to go. Yeah, but everything, it's like fashion. I've been voted down, but remember. Goldbridge ball, we wouldn't be playing 4 4 This is our Brexit team, all right? Four, we four, are playing two. Brexit ball here, all right? We're 4 4 2. It's like fashion, it came back around, wouldn't it? 4 4 2, we could be bringing it back and this could be the Comments start. Comments are it. popping already. No chance. We've only watched two minutes. Do you know why the people want to see 4 4 2? Let's not, let's not beat about the bush because we want to see two, you, two proper strikers. You want yeah? to get Harry, is this, is, I know exactly what this is. It's the Harry Kane plan. No. You can't put Harry Kane in. You can't play him on the right wing because you got bantered last time. You can't so leave available. Harry Kane out of this team. Yes, you can. Well, no, you can't. You can't leave Harry Kane out of this team, can you? 30 goals in probably the worst Premier League side I've ever seen, and then the worst Spurs side. Harland and Kane up front. Yeah. It'd be a car crash. A car crash? <laughs> yeah. It'd be pure goals. Oh, I hate 60 goals a season. That's I know, it'd be a nightmare. Oh, yeah. 60 a minimum. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, because that's how it works. You add Kane's goals and Harland's, and you score 60 Kane goals. Kane loves to like pull back and assist. You don't though. think that Harry Kane would score 30 goals in a season with, uh, alongside. Um, Erling Haaland and all these other ballers. No, because it's not FIFA. Oh, for sure he would. Sorry, Come did you on. say ballers? Absolute ballers. Okay, yeah, fair enough. Why? What do you think I said? I don't know if it's, if if you got the. You, how old are you now? Forty. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you can be saying. That. Oh, I love it. I will he can look. I mean, the Rex well. money's not coming, and he's using black and white printer. Yeah, yeah sorry, uh, that's Seb's fault, by the way. He printed it off and gave it to me, and I went, "Have we not got a colour printer?" He went, "Yeah, we have, but I didn't want to use the ink." He said, he said he didn't want to use it on us he's too. Saving, yeah. He's saving that for the Wrexham contract. All right, come on, let's start. 4-4-2, uh, four, four, we're agreed. This moves on so far. <laughs> <laughs> we agreed on 4-4-2, four, four, yeah? No, but yes, I'm, 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 I'm voted down 2-1. Congratulations. So, it's go. so, that's it, settled, 4-4-2. Four, four, that's the formation well, we're going to play, amazing, right? Yeah. Um, should we start with goalkeeper? Yeah. Yeah? yeah we're going to start with goalkeeper. I think we're all agreed on this one, actually. Hopefully. Yeah. So, the halfway point, we picked Nick Pope. Yep. Nick Pope was a halfway goalkeeper, right? Having a fantastic season for Newcastle up to that point. Uh, we do have a few other options for you. I've got all sorts of stats and bits and bobs here. Right, so I'm going to throw some out there, OK? David Raya, Aaron Ramsdale, Edison, Allison. Nice. Yeah? That's the pick, including Nick Pope, obviously. Yeah. Um, but I think we're all pretty much agreed on this one. Uh, interesting fact for David Raya, by the way. Do you know that 10 goals have been scored... From outside the box, past David Rea, the Rea this season. Oh, that's not that's good. That's a weakness, isn't it? That's yeah. a lot of goals, isn't it? Now, he was the top scoring goalkeeper in Fantasy Premier League this year, you know that. He was the top scoring goalkeeper. Yeah, it's dumb, it's 10 goals from outside the area. Maybe he needs to get down spec savers. I reckon he might be, what is it, short sighted or long sighted? Long Maybe he's good when he sees the ball in the box, but he can't see it coming out. Long range the box. stuff yeah. he struggles yeah. with. But I always think of what Watto said, you know, I'm always looking for the defenders. Are they kicking a leg out? Even mm. David De Gea's, which I'm sure you two have talked about, but sticking a leg out, is it blocking it, getting in the way of the keeper's vision? You have got to think about these things. We've got I to be like concerned. That. I like it. It's ridiculous how De Gea's not there when he's got 17, he's the Golden Glove holder. Well, can I ask you a question? Yes. Golden Glove Award, right? Yeah. David De Gea has won it this year. Yeah. Absolutely stinking the joint out. Shouldn't, <laughs> shouldn't it be about like points saved, goals saved? Right now, with all this technology we've got, yeah. wouldn't you prefer it? It's like when you're at Watford, you're yeah. never going to win Keeper of the Year because not, 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 not you're not good enough. <laughs> you're just not good enough. 
<laughs> leave, it, leave it at that will and move on. But think of all the... I just think with the technology we've got now, it should be based on that because it brings in everyone into play then. I totally agree. I totally agree. Do you know what I think you should do, actually? Is I think you should get a little round table of, go table of goalkeepers, right? Oh, nice. People in the know. Ex I've right, played the game. Experts, yeah? yeah? Experts in their field, if you like, nice. right? And I think they should sit around the table, five of them, yeah, five, because then you can't have an odd number or whatever, right? And then that's where you decipher it down, all right? And you boil it down to absolutely everything. Of everything they've seen that season, yeah, sure, take clean sheets into account, but it ain't the be-all and end-all, all right? And even though he is the Golden Glove winner, I totally agree, I just don't think he's had a good a season as some of these guys on this list. This is easy anyway. I don't need the stats. Go I, I, I said this to Tom last night. I said, add this keeper in, yeah. and then he showed me the stats, and I thought, well, this is why I know football. Yeah, Alisson. You've gone for Allison. I've it's gone for Allison as well. It's easily Allison. I'm going to get overruled on the goalkeeper. Well, look, oh, check, his, check, check his stats. I can't believe it. Check his stats. Uh, so Allison played 37 games. Um, check at goals prevented. Yes. Go yeah, but this goals prevented. Oh, he's just, it's just, it's just can't you help you out then? No, this is where. Yeah, I don't want to do get stats. you a glove. I don't want to look. He at wants stats, to do expert yeah? panels, but he doesn't want to do no, stats. I want expert panels from what you see with your own eyes. What? So you want new big sham Tony Pulis around the table? That's what you want. Nice guy. In there. Um, yeah, I want I want experts who can see those little nuances. Yeah, that little like aggressive step, that proactive step, <laughs> not the reactive step. I want progression. Yeah, I want to see you on the front foot. That's the goal yeah. that I want to see in my team. Which Allison right? has done. Allison for sure. I'm with you. Yeah. I'm listen, I'm not, about that? I'm not barking down Allison here. By the way, he is he is in my top two goalkeepers for the season. He is the best goalkeeper this season. He is in my top two goalkeepers this season. He's gonna and go I will Nick bow down. He plays golf. And I'll bow down to majority for sure. I would have put Nick Pope in. Oh, I knew it. I think he's just because he's done the bloody Fozcast. I'm not yeah, a man. I'll get you Allison on, and then he'll be a, he'll be oh, yeah, Allison. If Allison, Allison comes on, you can go to be my goalkeeper, <laughs> yeah. Allison. That's the way it will work, all yeah. right. But I just think Nick Pope for watching him with my own eyes, right? To watch how he keeps goal is a thing of beauty. He's had a good season. He's like the underdog, yes. but Allison's way better. And if you actually look at the stats, I'm not a man of the stat. Obviously, you look at the state of me, but he's quite down there. Like, his defence have helped him out a lot more than Allison's had a lot more to progressive, aggressive he, steps, whatever you want to say. And, him and Edison are normally quite close, but if you look at Edison this year, yeah. I think he's made half the saves Nick Pope's yeah. made. So he's not, he's not been as busy. Allison's been bloody busy this season. He has been busy. And that shows. I'd love to see Edison have a season like that where he's busy because. Alison's the best ball playing keeper as well. I'm with you. I'm with you. I totally agree. 100% Alison. And, and so one of the stats here on it, Alison says goals prevented 8.52. And I'm just thinking, what? What do you mean? Well, what it batters what, everybody what else? What does that mean though? It means he stopped 8.5 goals. No, he, he stopped loads more than that. Do you know what I mean? I, know, I don't know how they work. This is this is where the stats sometimes for me. So I think, are you pro stat or against that? I'm against stats. Yeah, I don't like stats. I think you, yeah. uh, especially for goalkeeping. I think you can do it for outfield players a bit more for sure. Yeah. But I think with goalkeepers, you have to just you have to know what you're talking about, know what you're seeing, and then look at it with your own eyes. Who would you give the golden glove to, then? Um, if it was based on everything? I'd give it to Nick Pope. Again, I'd give it to Nick Pope, and he'd be in my team. But I will bow to your pressure, lads. I don't mind. I, honestly, I don't mind. We're going to go for Alisson. I, feel, I yeah? do feel bad, because in this position, you are the expert. But he's wrong. Okay. That's fine. But that's Just fine. Just get a grow you, a pair. You got over yeah. in the formation. I will have Alison then. Well, I'll have, uh, Alison, Alison, he's, he's definitely wrong. So Alison bad. locked so in. You are the goalkeeper. Um, you're in my top two anyway, mate. Are you, you, you're fully deserving of a place in there. Um, all right. So we're playing four four two. We're going to go. Um, should we go to to right back? Let's start with a right easy. back, right? Again, I think this is an easy yeah. This one. is tough. Yeah, it's not debatable. Well, all right then. Is there anybody that comes close to Trippier? Because I can't think of anyone. Uh, no, we had... So, in our halfway team, we had Kieran Trippier. Trippier was the guy at the halfway mark. Um, other notables is Ben White. <laughs> that is about your lot so far. Um, it's poor, really, isn't it? Because I think Trippier has been good this season, but it's poor that in some positions we're going to do, there's so much debate, but it just shows you how underperforming... I mean, to be fair, wan has had a good yeah, end to the season. Yeah, a good end to the season. Trent, 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 Trent had a lovely surge. Yeah. Trent yeah. had a lovely surge. He did. He had, a, he had a really good good little surge at the end of the season, which is nice to see. But I think just for pure longevity of the season... He's played every game. Every single game. Kieran Trippier. Yes. One goal, seven assists, um, created 24 big chances, 14 clean sheets for Newcastle, 76% uh, uh, passing success. You hate stats, why are you reading them? Because I think for outfield players, they're a little bit more right, applicable. Okay. I do, that's actual fact, yeah? That is an actual fact that he did this. Where, whereas I think with goalkeeping, the save percentage or the save goals, like, like yeah, save, yeah. I think it's a little bit more, um, what's the word? Um, a bullshit? Ambiguous. Ambiguous. 
ambiguous. That is exactly the word. It's a little bit whoever's doing that stat at that time, he decides that, and I just think, meh. Got you. Whereas I think we're, we're fully decided it has to be Kevin Trippier, yeah? Yeah. Kevin Trippier? And just for everything he brings to the team and the leadership stuff as well. That, totally that's agree. the sort of stuff you can't really I play. totally agree. So we're going Kieran Trippier, locked in. Ben White, notable. Decent season, to be fair. Decent season. He was a centre-back, playing at right-back for us and had a good season. But Trips for everything involved, for sure, right? Um, do you want to go for left-back? Yeah. Because this is another interesting one here. And I think I know who you're going to say for this. Mm, maybe. I'll, I'll go. I'm not sure. By the way, we don't know. We do not know all of our thoughts. We have been picking this team over this last week or whatever. We've all written it down. I have actually written mine down on the back of... On the I, back I, of, I, of these I, I, of wrote, I wrote mine down. You've got it, yeah? That's good. You wrote it down. I wrote, I, it, down. I wrote it down. Okay, whatever you want to say. Um, so we're going to go left-backs, okay? Uh, we've got a few. We've got a few notable mentions for this one. A bit more than the I want right to know back. what you've got for this. Um, you, you keep, you, he keeps going third. You got and you go first. Who have you got? No, no, no. I'm, I'm going to tell you the notable Sorry. first. Yeah? Oh, okay. I'm going to tell you the. Then you can I'm going to tell yours. you the possibilities. Okay. Right? So uh, we've got Dan Byrne at Newcastle. Played every single game this season. Uh, Purvis Estupinian uh, at Brighton, fantastic season, getting forward with assists, uh, creating chances for fun. Uh, Tarek Mitchell at Palace, really good season, 36 games played. And then you've got Luke Shaw at Man United, only played in 31%, which is about 80% of the games, but fantastic se- uh, season for him. The player we had at left back at the halfway mark was Luke Shaw. Wow. Do you think it changes? What do you think? Uh, yes, I do think it changes. Who are you going for? Um, I'm going to go for Dan Byrne. <laughs> You can't do that. I can do that. It's crap. I right. can do that. When's he on the podcast? Yeah. He, he, he <laughs> yeah. Is, yeah. He's locked in. He's going to he come is. soon, to be fair. He <laughs> is going to come in soon. And listen, this one this one is uh, one for me where I had to really think deep down about this one, okay? So, for mm. what I want from my left back, yeah? I just think it's the overlapping runs and the lovely whip crosses. Nah, mate. Pace. We've got Kieran Trippier who's going to do it on the right-hand side, all right? We don't nice want to have it two. on the left. We don't want do? two. We want, a, we want a solid, yeah? I want a solid left back that's going to go, right, know your role, mate. Stay in, especially in this 4-4-2 formation, Brexit team we're playing, right? I want Dan Byrne, yeah? He is solid. He's dependable. I know he's going to stay in his slot. He ain't going to get too excited. Let the good ones do that, all right, Dan? Let the good left winger do that. Let them, let them do all that. Have their fun, all right? Purvis is Stupian, it was a close one. It was a close one. I like this player, yeah? I like him a lot. But I'm going for Dan Byrne. It's amazing that Luke Shaw's fell so far down the list for me as well. Go. He's had a good season, Luke Shaw. Come on, go. Dan Byrne's a centre-back at left-back, and he's had a good season. But uh, Luke Shaw has played centre-back better than Dan Byrne could dream. And he's a much better left-back. I think, for me, it's between Espinan... And, and, and Luke Shaw. I would have gone, gone Sinchenko, but I think he's fell off. He fell off. That fell off big time. He hasn't played enough games, anyway. <clears throat> so, will I will. Who have you gone for? Dan Byrne. Gone for Dan Byrne. Who are you going to go for? I'm going to go for Purvis. Ooh. Oh, this is going to get like, fruity. Just then. because I want my full back attacking, he's created the third most chances. We've got the right back. back attacking, though. Yeah, let's go for it, mate. <laughs> All right. You can't have two full backs. And I'm really, I really want to get a Brighton player in, and I'm worried where else yeah, we're going to get yeah. a Brighton I've player. I've got another Brighton player in here. Where, what? We'll, oh, find out. we'll find out. No, I, I would go Purvis, but with this one, I'm happy to sort of back away and say no, you two. No, you go Purvis. Okay. Okay, so I've got the deciding vote. I would go Luke Shaw, but if I've got to go between Byrne and Estebanan, I'm going to go... Estupanan. Estupanan. Uh, Superman. <laughs> Estupanan. I'm going to go, because I like the idea of getting a Brighton player in. I would have Luke Shaw in, but I will go... Lovely doing Purvis business with you. Yeah, yeah. He's say much it. better than Dan Byrne. Say it. Purvis Estupanan. We're going Purvis to Stupinan. He's locked in. Um, I'll get one in there. Hey, he's me, close don't for me. Again, he's, I don't good, mind. he's underrated as well. I don't mind bowing to your expertise, lad, because he's in my top two. It was very close between him and Dan Byrne. I'll happily put him in there. And I didn't even know who he was at the start of the season. Yeah, true that. I knew him from Watford. He was actually at Watford. He never played a minute at really? Watford. Yeah, he was at Watford. We signed him from somebody, loaned him out to, I don't know, Villarreal or something like huh? that. They ended up buying him for like 12 million quid or something. Brighton then went and bought him the season after. Crazy. He's a good lad as well, by the way. Somebody, somebody's ringing me on my phone. Sorry. Purvis saying cheers. Uh, Purvis saying cheers. No, it's Nick Pope. He's got an <laughs> Damn burn. Jamie's his source. Pope He's is left fuming. you out. He's left you out. Pope is absolutely fuming. Right, so we've got the right back. We've got the left back. Um... We're going to go centre backs, lads. This one could be tricky. This because... could be tricky, right? This could be really tricky because we have got so many options for this, right? Um, let's have a look quickly though at the two that we chose at the halfway mark. I'm making sure my team. And I disagree with them. I remember. These were the two we chose: uh, Rafael Varane and Sven Botman. That's who we chose at the halfway mark. Is and that one each, basically? That feels like you've got one yeah, each. Yeah, yeah it was one. Uh, I chose Botman, I think, didn't I? Yeah, you no, chose Varane. Varane yeah. um, 
Can't work this time. I think this is the beauty of having three people. Yeah. Yeah? You've got you've got somebody who can make a deciding vote, whereas you would overrule or I would overrule last time. It was mainly you, actually. You, you picked this team. You know what annoys me is that in most of the Premier League teams of the season, which we're, we're doing a proper one here, yeah. they put Diaz in, and I completely disagree with this. Well, Diaz is not Man City's best centre-back, yeah. and... I, I've, I, I know he's good, but it feels like, you know, you know, you get Lineker and all that lot going, Diaz, because they don't watch football and it's like he was good two years ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think Diaz is good, but I think if you've watched football this year, he's not the best centre-back. Well, that's it. Um, uh, I'd say Akanji's yeah. been good, but John Stones has been their uh, best centre-back. This is why I think you... It's, best it's, midfielder. It's, play, yeah. it's team of the season, yeah. yeah? It's not who's the best player. Yeah, yeah. You could have you could have Leo Messi playing in this in this league, but if he's not been the best player this season, yeah, yeah. even though he probably is the best yeah, player. Yeah, yeah. Well, it would be Trent at right back, team. wouldn't it or something like exactly that. Exactly like, like that. So this is based on pure form throughout the season and not even just form. I think everything he offers, like, like you say Trippier captaincy, yeah? yeah. Nick Pope who would have come for everything he should be in the team by the way. Um, but again, Allison, he's like a captain anyway, do you know what I mean? He leads by example. Centre-backs is a tricky one, lads. It's a really, really tricky one. I've got some absolute, oh my golly, gumdrop. I just think at some point you've got, you've got. if you're not going to put David De Gea in for Golden Glove and you're not going to put Luke Shaw in at left back, they have got, they are where they are on defence. Yeah. So at some point, we've not got a United player at right back, we've not got the goalie, we've not got the left back. At some point, you've got to acknowledge Man United's whole season is about defence. But then... City of City and Newcastle joint best records in the Premier League. Yeah, defensive records. Yeah, but United have only conceded nine at home all season. That's a ridiculous stat, by the way. This is a ridiculous. Record. They have got a good defence. People don't record. want to acknowledge it. They have. See, I, I've got to stick. I've got to keep Varane in. I have to because you've got to have a United player. in that Is that one of your guaranteed centre backs? You think you have to have Varane in there? You think he is him been... or Martinez? Right. So listen to this. Yeah, listen to this list that we've got. This is my short list. There are others in there as well. Um, Sven Botman, who was in the halfway team. John Stones. Mm. Uh, William Saliba. I, if it, again, he's a bit like Martin, isn't he? Because I think missing the last couple of months of yeah, the season probably pushes you out. OK, here's a few other notables. Cool. Um, Fabian Schaar, um, obviously Ruben Diaz. Ben Mee had a fantastic season. See, Ben Mee feels like trying to get him on for a podcast. L- again, he, he would be more than welcome. Yeah. Uh, who does he play for? Burnley. Brentford. Brentford. Uh, wow, come on. Bre- only been in the champ. The championship for a season. You're so bang out of order. Um, Lissandro Martinez. Um, and I'm going to throw this name in there that I think will be into my starting 11. He will be one of my starting centre backs. Lewis Dunk. <laughs> oh, you, if you're going to take the piss, we can, we can go now because we've all got places to you go. You know, have you noticed how many? I, don't, I, I was waiting for this, what his centre back was going to be, because it would have been Pope. Trippier, Byrne and Dunk. They're all this bloody Brexit English. FC. They're all English. I like yeah, Dunk's yeah. had a great season. Mike Bassett. My. Dunk's had a great season, but come on now. No. Right? Varane, so and, Varane being... and Dunk, come on. I, I disagree the... with Varane. I disagree completely. You've, yeah, got to put somebody, you've got to put a Man United player in. No, Why? you don't. In the back five. When yeah, but you United's said the home record, home. they play home and away. Yeah, but United's... We've won the Golden Glove, which means we've had loads of clean sheets. Yes, if you're not going to give it the goalie, we've got the best clean sheet record. You're not putting a Man United player in the back five. Yeah, but like you could, Casemiro, you could say, is down to the defence. Well, Casemiro record. should be in as well. Well, let's, well, let's get, let's get there first. Well, well, obviously he, not, because this is the anti-Man United team. Has he been team. the best... Um, right, back to defender. I, I think we're all agreed on Sven Botman. No. I don't think I am, you know. I don't think I am. I've played the game. Whatsoever. I've, I'll go first. I would go, go Varane oh. and... I would go Varane and Stones. That's I will go John Stones, guaranteed. I will put John Stones in. But there. he's more of a midfielder now. It's true that, but I still think yeah, he, stepping out in your four, he, four, he yeah. is that progressive defender now. That is for the big teams, yeah. You need to have this guy now. For for a Man City, for a Man United, Man United need a guy like this, you know, who can really Martinez, step out. Not really. Yeah, oh, you, bloody with, you with, don't watch football. With, with absolute authority, he like would, John he, Stones. But yes, he does. John Stones is in there, yeah? John Stones is locked. Go stay happy. Well, happy. Well, you've got to. You're going to have to. All right, all right. You, oh, yeah, you crack yeah. on. So the odd one out here, yeah? It's got to be Sven Botman. So you're saying Sven. You're saying... Let, I'm, I'm you. saying any Man United centre-back now, Martinez or Varane. Who, you've got to pick one. Well, if it's Stones, I'd probably go Martinez because right foot, left foot. Oh, I like that. Oh, but as... As an ex-goalkeeper, having that Newcastle had a bat fall that's set for the whole season. Yeah. You've, you've had that as well. Yeah. How nice is that just to know with that trust? Oh, I love what incredible. you've done there. This, you've this literally here. lubed him up a bit. So you? this... You've this, gone as an ex-goalkeeper. This yeah. nicely, and then Newcastle. This nicely ties in to my Lewis Dunk suggestion, yeah? This nicely ties in here, right. yeah? So Lewis Dunk, dependable, 
big tall, commanding. Why is he still talking about it? You know what you're going to get from him. He reads a game like an absolute buck, to a T, in fact, right? He is my Mr. Dependable. So he's saying at the heart of that defence. John Stones, get the ball. It's a little bit like, do you know what it's a little bit like? It's like Rio Ferdinand and and Nemanja Vidic back in the day, yeah? You've got that John Stones who go and do a bit, the Rio Ferdinand role. And then you've got Lewis Dunk, Dunk, Who's Dunk, Rio? And then Lewis Dunk is the Vidic kind of like, I will try and... compare Lewis Dunk to Vidic. I will take a boot in the middle of my face for this team, all right? I will put my heart on the line for everything, all right? That's why I would go for the Lewis Dunk. Who have we agreed on? Uh, we agreed on Lewis Duncan, John Stone. No, we didn't no, agree no. on Lewis Duncan. <laughs> if we put Lewis Duncan in this, by association, we're finished as well as it. Yeah, I know, yeah. And I haven't even started yet. Right, so, so, so who's it going to be then? We've, we've got Duncan. John Stone's locked in. Botman. John Stone's locked in. I'll go Botman then. It's got to be Botman. Oh, I'm going to bat- I'm gonna have to go with it, aren't I? William Saliba, definitely not, no? Just because of the I can't records. believe there's no Man United player in the back five. I just want to put it out there. Well, I can. Uh, yeah, but there is more to life than Man United. I they can. won the clean sheet. They got most clean sheets. Yeah, fine. Um, are we going? Are we going to go with Sven Botman? I'll have to. Yeah. Botman, Stones, Trippier, Purvis. Ah, oh, strong. Alisson, Alisson in goal. goal. I think that's a strong team. If you put Dunk, I think we, the fill-in would be cancelled for next year. I can't believe it. I really don't. Brighton fans, get in the comments down below. Let these two absolute plonkers next to me know how good Lewis Dunk is. He is an absolute player. I um, just want you know, like those people from the past in history when bad things have happened, right? And then you get done by association. I want it to be absolutely <laughs> known that I would have had a Man United player. I'd have had two. <laughs> Most clean sheets in the Premier League and none in there. Come right, on. let's go into the midfield. Right, this can get a little bit spicy now. This will actually get okay. a little bit spicy. We're playing four across the midfield, all right? Um, so, quickly, um, defence and goalkeeper sorted. Mark Goldbridge has still failed to put a Man United, a single Man United player he has not put in that I mean, whole defence. Shambles, United through and through my ass. right? That's a disgrace from you, by the way. Not even down. suggesting Been one voting. of them. <laughs> not even suggesting a Man United player. Um, midfield, lads, yeah? It's screwed now. Let's go midfield, all right? Should we go for the two midfielders? Two central midfielders, okay? When there, should, when there should be three. Are we trying to do? Are we trying to have a balanced midfield here? We, well, just we can't, going, we're playing two. We're just going all no, out. we can do what you want. Well, you want to go all out because you're doing all out defence already, so it's fine. We can uh, do that. Well, I think I think we're all agreed on Odegaard, surely. Um, so, what, so, take me back to 1996. How does a 4-4-2 work then? Because you can have it however so you want. We can have, have two, two, we can can have have two strikers. I mean, even in 96, Venables was playing a 5-3-2. What? What are we doing? We're playing two strikers this and is two what, wingers. This is where it needs to come from. You can play wingers, you can play a diamond, you can play whatever you want to do, all right? This is the beauty of it. I've got enough players here, yeah, that we can, once I've mentioned them, we can decipher exactly what we're going to do. We'll drill down on tactics afterwards, all right? And these are good players, so they're These valuable. are world-class players. These are the big boys now, yeah? We're getting into, like, superstar territory, all right? So Odegaard's got to be in there. Um, Goals and assists this season, phenomenal. I mean, I think we're all having a bit of recency bias with Arsenal because they felt falling off at the end of the season Whereas for 90% of the season, absolutely phenomenal. And we haven't got an Arsenal player in there yet. Right, halfway team was Martin Odegaard. Look at, yeah, exactly. Halfway team had Martin Odegaard yeah. in it, OK? Don't lie to yourself. Um, OK, so I, I think I agree with Odegaard, right? The, this is where we need to really think about our formation here, lads, yeah? Because it's a 4-4-2 for sure. But it's this right four... Now. No, listen, this four can be... It's, it's, a, it's a fluid four, right? It's yeah. a fluid four. Personally, I would play a 4-1-3-2, Yeah. That's what I would do. Right. Four one three two. No width though then. No, yeah, true. But I think with the um, overlapping fullbacks that we're going to have anyway. What well, Dan Burn? Dan Burn. <laughs> Dan Burn didn't make it into a team. You know, you know, right? you know some ex players. You know they're never going to go into management. <laughs> Oh, this is an advert it. for yeah, it. Yeah. yeah, ever thinking about it. Well, Lee, Leeds will give you a good job, actually. Odegaard, would you get... Yeah, Leeds would. Yeah, this yeah. sounds incredible. Yeah. Lee, if anybody at Leeds is watching by this way, I am available and I will play this team for you. Well, they're after Gerrard, so you've got I was going to say, if Gerrard's got a chance. Um, so, uh, Odegaard, what do you think? I'm just terrified about the formation, but yes, I agree with Odegaard. Odegaard, yeah, I think we're all agreed on Odegaard. Yeah, so... But you've got to put De Bruyne in as well. I know, you've. Uh, well, you've probably got to put De Bruyne oh, in. Okay. What about Phil Billing? So, for <laughs> you're laughing at you. are so disrespectful, yeah. both of you. I, I don't want to be part of that. Right. Let me let me list some of the names that we've got in here for a for a, that yeah. could make it to this team. Okay. We have got Jack Grealish. Yeah. Yeah, but he's not in this. Three. I'm just saying he's, he's a possibility. He's, he's, over here. he's a possibility for a midfielder, right? Jack Grealish, KDB. Uh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mo Salah. Yeah. I take him as a winger. Yeah. Do you have to have Mo Salah in that team? Bukayo Saka. Yeah. Martin Odegaard. Yeah. Rodri. They're, they're only candidates, yeah. Rodri. Yeah. These are candidates, yeah, yeah? Yeah, yeah? I'm not saying this is the team. I don't know, but your team. This, this, is where we need to, this is where we need to shuffle the pack of the formation yeah, yeah, a little yeah, bit, yeah? yeah. yeah. Rodri. Gundogan. 
Yeah. Mitoma. Yeah. They they have to be considered. Rashford you could put in there. Yeah. 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 What? Wait, keep reading them. Casa- Casemiro. Uh, yeah. I'll put, well, Casemiro was incidentally. He Bruno was Fernandes. In, he, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Okay. He like Man Casemiro was in the halfway team, by the way. Yeah. But I don't man, like Man United. I put Varane, Casemiro, and Rashford in the Philip halfway Billing. team. That's because it was a two way. Philip Billing, Bruno Gamares. Philip Billing ain't going to go. Yeah, Bruno Gamares is good. Bruno Gamares is a shout. We've got to have a Bournemouth player in here. He is a shout. Bournemouth are not getting any players in there. We've got to have a Bournemouth. No. Phil- we- Look at his stats. No, Look at the I stats. Don't care. I don't care. Has he been one of the best midfielders in the whole Premier League? But you said season? at the start of this video it should be about the best player for that team and the best player for that season, not yeah. the best players for the... Help me here, please. For the... Has he been better than any of their names that I mentioned yeah, yeah. there? I say I, Philip I, Billing for I Ballon d'Or. I think if you put Philip Billing in, people will just turn off, oh, right, turning now. off right now. Philip, people are saying Billing for Ballon d'Or, and that's not just me. Listen, I appreciate everything you've done for us, right? But if you mention Philip Billing one more time, right? Dunsky, you're off, yeah? Done. We'll let the comments decide. You'll, you'll either be a hero or a zero. An absolute I think zero. I know which way this is going. Right, come on, we've got to think clearly about this. All right, I'd go for probably Philip Billing. No. <laughs> no, I'd go... What I'd, about? I'd go... What about Billing? Billing, yeah, right. Billing could work. Right, if, uh, if we're going to put Odegaard in there, I think we need a little bit of a holding midfielder. Oh, God. And there's two possibilities, all right? I think we need to have either a, a Rodri or a Casemiro as the 4-1 for the one, yeah. yeah, the one holder. Should we give Deal? Casemiro to Mark then? Uh, has he been better than Rodri? Yeah. What? But you've got to at some point acknowledge the fact that Man City are an attacking side. They don't get tested defensively because Manchester Rodri does United, such a good job. No, nah, they just no. Manchester United have built their success on defence. I think Casemiro. You take him out of that team, they're not even in if the top six. If you agree with the fact that you think Casemiro has been better than Rodri this season, mm. it's a shambles. Well, you just did threaten me about Philip Billing, so I'm going to go for Casemiro. <laughs> you're a scumbag. Yeah, fine. You're an absolute I, I don't, scumbag. I, I don't think... I, I think you're like all the rest on Sky and No, BT. I love Casemiro. I don't think you watch matches. Well, again, what, right. You're down this, the pub, aren't you? This is super. not a slander of Casemiro here, right? I'm a big fan of Casemiro. I think he does an incredible he's job. He's better than Rodri. He's, he's one of the t- top two holding midfielders in, in the, the Premier world. League, yeah? Probably in world football. You know what he is? I'm there. It's because he plays for Man United. If we were talking about Casemiro last year when he was man of the match in the Champions League for Real Madrid, it'd be like, oh, yeah, Casemiro is the best so in the world. So now he comes to Man United. Nah. It's an anti Man United bias then. Yeah. That's what it is. Yeah. That's all this is, right? But what, how many games has Casemiro missed, though? Because he, he, he can be. He's and I don't missed, want to say it, Mark, a little bit filthy. He can no. be a bit of a hothead he's been and robbed. he's missed about seven games through suspension, all right? Yeah. That's all I'm going to say there. Okay? But Strangled, he chokes Lamb someone in the summer. He did do. He likes wrestling. <laughs> but, yeah, right, he's in for me. Yeah. I love him. Um, Casemiro played 28 games this season. It's enough. He's in. Uh, he got four goals, yeah, three goals. assists, and created seven big chances. Look at how many goals did Rodri get this year? <laughs> so hold on a minute, hold on. Rodri, mm. right? Let's, let's have a look at the stats for the season. 36 games played, uh, two goals, six assists. Plays for Man City, though. Yeah, for sure, I agree. But his job role is not to really get forward and do too much like oh, that. come on. John Stones and bloody Diaz are on the edge. Are of the we putting box? Casemiro in ahead of Rodri? Give me Casemiro stats. I know you don't want him. Casemiro has played only 28 games. Yeah. Only 28, yeah, so that's right. like about 78% or something like that. How many like goals? That. Uh, four goals, oh, four two goals. more than Rodri, yeah. Uh, yeah, but... and only three assists, which is half the assists that Rodri got. But you, it's like getting a centre-back scoring record up. You wouldn't really look at it, would yeah. you? Can we look, have a look at the uh, pass um, no. success So we need it, by the way. No, Rodri, this, this 92%. Casemiro, any guesses? Any guesses? 80 something. 79%. Yeah, yeah but, but he's but... passing to McTominay. Yeah, and oh, he's wow. uh, he's playing for Man City, <laughs> with cigar and slippers on. Going yeah. here, you go. Here you have go. that. That's for you. you. That's Casemiro, you. get him in. I uh, I don't know. I actually might have been don't swayed. Change your mind. <laughs> Definitely don't. What I'm saying. Think I, about your career. All right. I go this is for the holding role. <laughs> this is for the holding role. You can't bully people. I didn't. Right? You can't bully people. I didn't bully me there. We're, this is for the holding role, right? So we're playing four one. We agree on this, yeah? Four one. I'd probably play them both. To be honest. No, you can't play them both. I would because that's... I'd go four two oh, two two. No, no, no. That sounds Diamond. Like, that sounds like a Gareth Southgate type formation. That does. No, nothing but wrong with that. You, a great you bloke. set the formation. That's I'm just saying. You are anti GGS, and that is exactly the sort of formation. Casemiro. Um, what do you want? I want Rodri. Right. This is all on you, Will Brazier. Can you do? Hold on. Can you can you look into that camera there that's yeah. pointing straight at you yeah, yeah, and yeah. go. For my holding midfielder, yeah, yeah. I am going to plump like Eurovision. for... Eurovision. I am going to plump for... Yeah, yeah. And then... Da, da, da. 
It'd be interesting if there is no Manchester United player in this team this season, considering they came third and got to two cup finals and won the most clean sheets. The talking's been done already, have right? Yeah, but when we won the League Cup, did you get in team this season? No. Exactly. <laughs> Quite right. And, you, and, and, you, and they both won the same cup. Yeah, exactly. Except yeah. we got, we got third ready, we got in the league, third. most clean sheets. My name's Will Brazier, and for the defensive midfield selection, I would like to choose Rodri. <laughs> Yes! I'm proud of you. I would have put Philip Belling in personally, but I'm proud of you, all right? Casemiro in the mud, Mod- Rodri all day long. That's exactly what it should have Just been. Just because I feel United have had an average season. You are a strong, independent man. You know that. Yeah, a I strong, am. Strong, independent Thank man. You. And you say what you want to Thank say. You. So we're all agreed on billing for next season. I'm, yes, next I'm just here for the comments. I, th- next I think there was a chance to rescue this, and I think it's John just gone. Bro, bro, we've got, um, so we have got, we have got our two midfielders sorted, right? Rodri's the holding midfielder. Odegaard just ahead of him, chilling in that little midfield bit. We need the right and left side of this from like the three, basically. We need the right and left side of this. We're just going front. These should be pointed out because I know people are saying about the formation, but I, these should just be wingers. Yeah. Out and okay. out wingers. Okay. If you want to do that, it's not a problem. It's getting worse. <laughs> so we're, we're not putting Kevin De Bruyne in. We're not putting Kevin De Bruyne in. Yeah. He's right wing. <laughs> Where's Mo Salah going to go? Left wing. <laughs> <laughs> no, we do need to get KDB can, in there, don't can, we? Should, can KDB oust Martin Odegaard then? No, oh. you've done it now. He's yeah, locked no, in. We, we all vote on nothing's, Odegaard. Nothing's indelible here. I right? really think we can play a three. And I know we were big on Mike Bassett ball earlier, but yeah. let's bring it back. Get Rex KDB, FC, get, baby. Let's get KDB in there for yeah. a three. Yeah. And then we do a three at the Kane and Haaland up top and then Salah just in behind. Um, yeah, I'm not averse to that. So it'll be... Four one two one two. Yeah. Four one two one what is, two. Wait, we've missed out there. This. Apart from Man United players. Where's Salah playing? Cam. What? What's the Broider doing? Playing golf. What's <laughs> Odegaard? He's doing? a midfield player, deep line playmaker. <laughs> What's Odegaard doing then? Making the tea. Uh, this what? is fucked. I'm just suggesting, guy. I'm just spitballing. You got. You, you either go. You, I think we need to keep it four one three two, lads. I do. I think we're overcomplicating all of this, right? It has to stay a 4 one 3 2. Also, this is a fictional team, it doesn't really matter. True that. We have to have Kevin De Bruyne in it, lads. Yeah, we've got to put Kevin De Bruyne We have to have Kevin De Bruyne. Okay, Kevin De Bruyne is in, and now we've got how many slots? Hold on. Hold on. Four, Rodri. Yeah. Odegaard, is he still in there? Let's wait on Odegaard. Let's wait on Odegaard, okay? We can do f- 3 2, yeah? Kevin De Bruyne has to be in there. Yeah, he but. He does. Yeah, okay. He does. He has to be in there. But if we play this three as a not out and out wingers, De Bruyne can be in there. Yeah. We can have Salah in there as well. Yeah. And Odegaard. What's the big word we said today? Fluid. Fluid. Well, this, this is like England when they had no left wingers. Right, look, 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 look. So we're going to go Rodri, yeah? There. Right, so that's, imagine that's like the centre circle. He's just there, yeah? That's where Rodri sits, right? Now we are to have. Midfielder, 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 front, front, okay? So who is going to sit in these nice little three? You know what I'm doing here, by the way. Rodri there, boom, position, position, position. Kevin De Bruyne has to go in that three. Well, he can't go there, and he probably won't go there. Are we can't go left. Can't oh, can we him. put him there? Yeah, that's where De Bruyne plays. Can we put him there? Yeah. Ahead of Odegaard? Cam. He yeah. has to play Odegaard to the left. Really? His left foot. And then Salah on the right? Yeah. Just like that, a little inside good, forward yeah. job. Let's put KDB in the middle. Yeah? yeah? Are we happy with this? Yeah. Can we get some murmurings? I, I, have, I haven't been happy since minute one. But Can we get some murmurings from the gallery here a little bit? Like, are we happy with KDB in that middle part? Yeah, lads. getting crucified in the comments for this, Ben. No chance. You butchered this one. No chance. This is absolute gold. 4-4-2 four, four, fucked us, basically. No, 4-4-2 four, four, is a way forward. But look at this. We're versatile. We're moving. We're working exactly together. That's what we are. That's exactly These what we are. players are going to be like staring at the ground going, get my agent. Are you for real? He's going to be looking around going, it's Mo Salah over there, it's Martin Odegaard there, and I've got Rodri behind me, He's and them two going, big boys up there. He did want Dan Burnett left back. <laughs> <laughs> and also, look, look, Pep puts a team sheet out every week. You tell me when John Stones plays centre-back. No chance, mate. He goes, he goes, lads, you know what, right? This is your remit, yeah? You can go into that position if you want, yeah? yeah? Make sure you get back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Make sure you get back. But you can go into there if you want. Yeah. Go and do that. Have a nice time, lads, right? That was very, exactly what he does. That's quite Neil Warnock. Basically, yeah. Um, so KDB is in there, right? Is yeah. in that that he's the, he's the first midfielder. He's like the attacking midfielder, central, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Cool. Yeah. On the right hand side, who are we going to go for? 
I think it has to be Mo Salah, lads. Well, I think it has to be Mo Salah. I think it has to be a Mo Salah. <clears throat> why, not, why not Saka? True. Do you, want, do you want me to read you some stats out here, lads? Well, Mo Salah's got 30 goals, what, for four seasons in a row again? I, like, um, I do like Salah, but I think Saka's had a very Right, good so Bukayo Saka played in all 38 games, as well as Mo Salah. Mo Salah played in all 38 games. Bukayo Saka, 14 goals. Mo Salah, 19 goals. Uh, Saka, 11 assists. Mo Salah, 12 assists. Um, Saka, 8 big chances created. Mo Salah, 15 big chances Mo Salah has trumped in in and absolutely everything. It's though. the Harry Kane syndrome where he's been playing in a bad team and done extraordinarily well. And Liverpool have been absolutely pants until the last eight games of the season. And Mo Salah has been not as he's probably a bit unfortunate for his own standards, isn't he? He's playing below those, but he's still this, thirty this, goals in this all is, comps. This has probably been his poorest season for Liverpool. Yet he's still scored nineteen goals, twelve assists, fifteen big chances created. But you've also got to take into account that Arsenal have massively overexceeded, and Sack has been a massive part of that. I totally agree. I'm with you. I, don't I probably, like... I would go. I probably, I mean, look, if you if you're going down on pure talent here, no, we're, we're, not, we're, doing, we're, doing we're doing player. Yeah, but of the it's, it's close. Isn't teams it? of the it's season. Close. It's close. That's what I mean. I I I find it difficult to choose. So if I'm I was going Salah. down on pure, I'm picking a team. Right. I'd have to take Salah because he's the better player. No, but we're not on this no, season. No, but, but that's what I'm just saying. On pure season. I'd probably sway. It's difficult. What are so you I, saying? Putting you on the phone. I've got a gun to your head. Do you season. know what? Do you know what? Right? If Bukayo Saka wouldn't have had the last six, eight games of the season that he Sorted. had, if he wouldn't have had the last six, eight games of the season, he is an automatic in this position. He is a but guaranteed I, I, automatic. I think. I think over a thirty-eight game season, people get. This is why people say Arsenal bottled it. They yeah, won yeah. that. They they got forty-three points from the first forty-eight. Liverpool ended the season well. Yes. Arsenal ended the season badly. But Liverpool started the season badly, yeah. and Arsenal did. Okay. So we're probably recency biased with Salah. Yeah, 100. this is exactly where it comes. Do you know when the PFA awards come round? Yeah, yeah, and you'll see. Early, yeah. So I guarantee Gundogan will be in there. I guarantee. It. I guarantee you, it'll be Kevin De Bruyne will be in there. You'll have all the players who, in the last six Still weeks, villains. all <laughs> dickhead, all the players in the last six weeks ripped it up will be in the team of the season. That's all that matters. I'm happy to go either way. I don't like sitting on the fence. But I'm um, happy to go. I think we have to go Mo Salah. I do. I think we have to go Mo Salah. Yeah, well, I, I, I had him down. I okay. yeah? Yeah, yeah, Mo Salah on the, the right of that three. Mo Salah on the right of that three. That's a heavy midfield, by the way. I think I did. We have Saka in last time. Um, yeah. yeah, we had Saka in last time. Mm. So we had, no, we didn't have Saka in. We had last Salah time. last time. We no, had and you picked that Xhaka. team. You had that team at the. We high... had Xhaka at the halfway point last year. Yeah, because we played a four-three-three. Yeah, that'd be why. So if you're not picking yeah, yeah. him in your team when it's the height of Saka, no, and no, you're asking me no, to do that. Look at that team. Look who's on the right wing. <laughs> yeah, he'd do a job. <laughs> that's, be unselfish. That, that's, that's basically Saka in a Spurs shirt. Yeah. Right, hey, we need to pick. We need to pick um, the other, the the other midfielder here. We need to pick the left-hand-sided one of these midfielders. Um, uh, I'd oh, probably God. put Odegaard because he's left-footed. I think I agree. I think we have to put Martin Odegaard in there. Not only because he's left-footed, but I think just for the season that he's had, he has been one of the best midfielders in the Premier League this season. And his numbers are, like, what's it, 17 Ridiculous. goals, 15 so assists? So, I'll give you some... Um, let me give you some Martin Odegaard. 37 games, uh, 15 goals, wow. Seven assists and 14 big chances created. We've got to put him in there, lads. Yeah. Yeah? And he was, he sort of, he trended all the way up. All the way it. through. He's been golden all the way through. And he was one of my day one OG fantasy Premier League midfielders. When you could pick from... Bukayo Saka, Gabriel Martinelli and Martin Odegaard. Oh, nice. Thankfully, yeah. thankfully, I plumped for Big Martin and he's just... What a bargain as well. I think he's like six and a half mil or something like that. What a player. Did you win your fantasy league? No, did I? Uh, don't want to talk about it. I fell off the last few weeks. I missed a couple game weeks, so, missed, missed a few deadlines and it just goes out the window, doesn't it? Yeah. Um, so that's what we're playing. We're playing 4-1-3-2. OK, yeah. We've got the, the, the so main stay of the team. Now. We've got the main stay of the team. Um... <sighs> We've got Rodri in that holding role. We've got Mo Salah, Kevin De Bruyne and Martin Odegaard. And then top two, the big boys. Yeah. Do we need really debate about this? I've got, I've, got, I've got some notables. Let's go through some notables. We're just going to go through the motions, all right? So in our front three last year, by the way, a world-class front three at that as well, Harry Kane, Erling Haaland, Marcus Rashford. Marcus Rashford's not been really spoke about this, uh, this team of the season. He's playing a 4-4-2. We just haven't mentioned him in general, have we, really? That's all I'm saying. Um, OK, let's talk about forwards then, OK, yeah? Um, we've got Harry Kane, Erling Haaland, Ivan Tony, Yeah. Ollie Watkins. Banned, though, can't play. 
Oh yeah, true that. He can't get into the team because he's banned for sure. Um, Ollie Watkins. Um, no. But it's it's kind of they just Watkins has had a very good season. Very streaky though. <laughs> um, I think, and that's facts. It's true. I'm with you. I totally agree. I think it's it writes itself these front two. Yeah, Phil Billing, Harry Kane. Between them, between them, a dickhead. Between them, seventy goals if they were in that team. Yeah, nice. And uh, what's the word of the day from this video? Fluid. Kane pulled back. Oh, Billing. To be honest. <laughs> Do you know what? Even Erling Haaland works back, you know. Does it? Erling Haaland drops in deep sometimes, you know. He will drop... He Look will at that drop. goal at the weekend, wasn't that header? Exactly that. One minute in. He will win you stuff, flick on stuff, get forward, get back. He'll work, mate. This is the beauty of this 4-1-3-2 formation, lads, that everybody just fills in for each other. Everybody's so on the same wavelength, yeah? Because me as a manager, I've set the tone. Yeah, I've set the tone yeah, for yeah. the team. And everybody knows they can do what they want. They can have freedom to express themselves if they really want. But get back and work, lads. Do it for the team, yeah? yeah. That's what we're talking you about. You know what? I've got the thumbnail for you. It's not a normal one. It's one of them coaches' voices masterclass because this is what we've just delivered right I here. I think so too. Just get our face in the thumbnail and we've delivered I think you agree with this as well. People are look back on this day and all over your face. They've changed. Groundbreaking. Yeah. Groundbreaking. I, I, I just think bravery would remove Harry Kane and your player 4 3. You can't remove Harry Kane. 30 goals. You can't remove It's Harry like having Kane. two goalkeepers. It's his best ever Premier League season, right? Don't care. You cannot remove Harry Kane from that front. You'll only have one striker. Nope. Nope, not in this Put him on the bench. Though. Harlan Kane. Thank you very much. Harry Kane, K-A-N-E. Desperate to get him on the false cast. Who? Kane? Yeah, obviously. Harry Kane is more than welcome on yeah. the false cast, I won't lie. He'll be coming on now. He'll be loving this. Um, welcome on that he'll be sat football. on the beach watching it going, oh, God. You give it, another, give it another six months, yeah, when he's playing in that red Manchester United shirt, you're going to be going... What a good idea that was putting him in your team of the season because it's inspired him yeah. to carry on with Man United and break records. That's what you're going to say. I think if you put Harry Kane and Erling Haaland in the same team, neither of them get 20 goals. Like it's going to get in everyone's way. This is pathetic. It's, 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 this is almost up there with that Rory Watson thing that he said at the beginning of the season where he said. Rory Jennings. Rory, Rory Watson's the goalie at Wrexham. <laughs> <laughs> What's he been saying? Well, I love you, Rory. I love, I do. I love Rory. Um, yeah, Rory Jennings. That's the one. Yeah, Rory, this is up there with that Rory Jennings statement. You know, of he won't score. What did he say? Fifteen goals this season. No, he said he'd flop. Yeah, absolute shambles. Disgrace of a of a statement to make. I'd, um, I'd like to see the experiment. I just wouldn't want to be anywhere near associated with it as a team this season. All right, can anybody and everybody please that's watching this video, I know you're all probably agreeing with me and Will here, this is, this is groundbreaking, um, just let us know what you think of our team. I don't think there's much you could change here. There's, there's probably, there's a few positions which are a bit sort of, oh yeah, maybe, yeah. but I think you have to get this team working somehow. You do. Well, you have to now. Yeah, Picked you do. It. I think you just, these are the sort of team where you put it together and you go, lads, you've just got the ability to work this out amongst yourself, you know? Yeah. I've set the tone, you know what to expect, I know what to expect, go and deliver. We're almost tricking them, we're going 4 4 2 here, but we're not really doing go. that, are we? You You'd go. be silly to believe we're playing 4 silly. 4 2, yeah. Sloppy, falling yeah. right into exactly. our hands. It's funny, I look at it and I think it's pretty average. What? Mm. This is a world. So who would you team. have? Rashford in there? No. Casemiro, Casemiro in there. I'd go 4 3 3. Alessandro Martin, I'd have there. David De Gea. I'd have width for a start, so I'd only have Haaland in, and I'd, have, I'd probably say I'd probably play Saka and Salah. But what you've got to remember is this team isn't playing anybody. No, it's not. No. Definitely not. And I think what you, need, what you need to understand is as well on paper, it looks like it's a narrow team, right? It isn't. Pretty when we get the ball, we're an expansive team, right? Players stretch the pitch, right? We only play narrow when we lose the ball. What's the stat about Man City this season? When they've got the ball, they are the widest team. When they haven't got the ball, they're the narrowest team because they work and they get back in. That's exactly what these boys will do, all right? We'll let the comments decide. All right, well, um, that's our team. Let us know what you think about it. I personally think it is absolutely world class. Alison in goal, Kieran Trippier, Sven Botman, um, who else we've got in defence? Lewis Dunk, um, John Stones, and um, Purvis Estupinan. And then we've got Rodri holding midfielder, Mo Salah, KDB, Martin Odegaard, and of course the two big boys, which everybody has to have in their team. If you don't have Kane and Haaland in your team, then you're doing it wrong. It's as simple as that, yeah? Amen, preach. Well done, lads. We came together, we all agreed on it, everybody is happy, um, everybody's got a smile on their face. Uh, that is the football filling team of the season. Get in the comments down below. No hate, all right? <laughs> no abuse. Just keep it. Just be honest. Keep it civilized. Just give it what you yeah? think. Keep it civilized. Love you lots. I'll see you soon. <laughs> it's gonna get dogs abused. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna get dogs abused. <laughs>